Hello, my lovelies. How are you today? Hope everyone is doing well. Hope everyone is blessed. Hope everyone is home. If you're not already home, I hope you get home safely to your loved ones with traveling mercies. I have had a good day. I am home in my comfortable clothes and my apron. And we're ready to cook because they're hungry. So today I'm gonna to be making some shish kebabs with some french fries. It's Friday, it's an easy day. So we're just gonna be making that. I have here some onions that I'm just going to cut into cubes. And I have some green peppers and red peppers. I have my skewers in water because we're going to be making shish kebabs. You don't want the wood to burn into the meat. So you just put them and let them sit in a little water so they can soak up some moisture. So. My onion here, I've cut into cubes, and they're just gonna be big like that. So we're going to start off with that. Today was a beautiful day. It's still cold out, but nonetheless, it was beautiful. We've had a relaxing day. I wasn't so busy. And I pray that you all had a great day too and still continue to enjoy your day. So I'm gonna do the same thing with this onion, just cut it in half and then in another half to form these big cubes. My green pepper, I'm going to cut the same way. I'm not going to julienne style them. I'm just going to cut them into pretty good sizes so this way they're not too little and break apart when I skewer them into the skewers. So I'm doing the same for my red pepper. I bought some beef round top steaks, which are a little different from the beef round bottom steaks. Now don't ask me what cut that's from. I just know it's a little different than the beef round bottom that I made with peppers and onions yesterday. And they're good for making shish kebabs. So I'm not going to cut all of my red pepper and green pepper because I'm just making just a several skewers. So you want them to be about this thick so when you skewer them, they won't break apart. You don't want them too tiny because then they'll just rip apart and fall off the skewer. So this size would be good and you can always um, cut them a little bit more if they're too big. So now as we're doing this I'm going to turn on my stove 
so that my skillet, I have a skillet, can start warming up and I can put some oil on it. So here I have my steak. Let me turn. And it's a good good whip. You you don't want these steaks to be too thin, so when you cut them up, they'll be nice on the skewer. I just want to show you you want them about that size less than an inch cubes so you're going to cut the steak all up And while I do this, I'm, I'll be cutting up the other steak as well, and I'll come back with more steps. 